Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, I just thought I'd show a short little haul of stuff I got in this week. Uh, nothing really of no. Well, maybe not to everybody, but you know, stuff that I wanted. Uh, completed another run and got a few other things uh, that I enjoy. Uh, here's the music in the background. It's the uh, anybody remember the Cow Seals? This is the first album in 30 years by the Cow Seals. Uh, got a lot of cool songs on it. For those of you that don't know, uh, they're the ones that uh, sang Hair for the musical. And uh, they did The Rain, The Park, and other things, Indian Lake, uh, We Can Fly. And they also sang the uh, theme song to uh, Love American Style. Lots of good music. The family band is basically the... Uh, you know, I'm sure most of you know this is the band that the Partridge family was based on, this family. So uh, there's a really great documentary. Uh, I don't know if it's still on Amazon or Netflix, but it was called uh, Family Band the Cow Seals. So it's worth checking out if you like this kind of music and like the family band dynamic. So uh, really cool stuff. Uh, just like I say, a short stack of stuff. Uh, Sunday night, probably getting ready to go hit the pillow before too long. Uh, it's 8.58, so yeah, really short. <laughs> uh, got some ghosts. It's number 53. Some great Bronze Age horror. It's number 47. Another great uh, Luis Dominguez cover. And some more DC Bronze horror. Secrets of Haunted House, number 30. And Secrets of Haunted House, number 21. We'll dip into a little uh, Charlton horror here. It's Ghostly Haunts, number 43. I'm not sure, looks like a uh, Pat Boyette painted cover. Ghostly Haunts number 21. Something I want to show you about this one's kind of funny. Uh, like I say, Charlton uh, didn't operate the way, say, DC and Marvel and all the other companies going on back then. But uh, on the credits on this uh, first story, you have George Wildman, uh, Hiram Walker on the writer, and the artist, they have Pat Boyette. Now you can plainly see. You know, that's not Pat Boyette, that's Steve Ditko. So, you know, and I've got some Charlton comics that uh, have like a western cover and it'd be a, a romance book on the inside. I mean, it's real, it's just, I just like it. It's, it's a cool little company, got some great comics and great stories and, uh, you know, I, I just enjoy their, their stuff. And I know a lot of you other guys do too. So I just thought that was kind of funny. Okay, here's, uh, speaking of Ditko, here's Shade the Changing Man, number three. Uh, this completes my run of Shade. I think it's only eight issues. Probably two or three I want to upgrade, but this one, uh, this one completes the set. Just a cool little uh, sci-fi type thing. All right, uh, here's a shout out to my buddy Rod, Dr. Silver Age, for some go-go checks. Uh, Plastic Man, number three. I try to pick these up uh, every so often when I find a good deal. You know, I don't have a whole lot of the early ones. I probably maybe got a couple of three in the first ten. I got, you know, the last of it when they resurfaced uh, in the mid-70s. But, uh, yeah, I just thought this, I love this character. It's just a fun book. So shout out to the Silver Age and to Doc Silver Age. Okay, here's a couple more. And this uh, these two complete another series and I know we got some fans of this book I know uh, talked to my buddy Eric Kay and uh, I think uh, my buddy Rob Brown uh, has got this series so this is the last two I needed for this one it's Black Goliath number four and got a great cover there by uh, Jack Kirby I just always liked the character this looks like a Gil Kane cover. Black Life number five. They're not mid shape or anything, and this has got like a somebody drew an ink on the price, but just glad to have them. 
All right, and the only other thing I have, and I, I'd never seen one of these, and uh, so this seller, you know, I was just looking through his stuff, and I was like, well, this is, you know, this is worth picking up. Uh, Dark Shadows Story Digest Magazine, Go Key. Uh, I know there was like a Believe It or Not Digest and a Tarzan Digest and Mystery Comics Digest and maybe a Boris Karloff. Uh, I'm sure some other guys could probably tell you. Uh, like uh, Go Key Geezer, Robert, he would know. Uh, he's uh, he's the Go Key go-to guy for me. Uh, but you know, got the Barnum's Collins on the front, and really, it's it's not really in comic form. It's just like a little stories with uh, spot illustrations. Uh, like the, the artist's name was Serta. I'm not sure, but uh, still a cool book to have. Got some ads on the back for some other uh, digests. But uh, I love these digests. Anything square bound. I mean, you know, I'm a sucker for. So I really, I was really kind of tickled to pick this one. A cool little collectible. I've already been reading some of the stories, so it's really good stuff. All right, guys, that's all I got for today. Uh, like I say, it's about my bedtime, or past my bedtime, so I'm going to get on out of here. Uh, big shout out to the comic community. Hope you guys had a great weekend. Uh, and it's back to work tomorrow. But as always, onward and upward.